Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above Blue Belt. I want to talk about Erickson Lubin versus Nathaniel Gallimore. And um, it was a it was a good fight, a, a lopsided fight, a one sided fight. Um, you know, one thing is um, you know, I don't know too much about Nathaniel Gallimore. I heard that he's a hard puncher, a power puncher, right? And uh, Erickson Lubin, um, you know, one thing is when they was fighting. You know, it seemed like uh, Nathaniel Gallimore was trying to get in his head because when after the bell, they was he was saying some stuff. And, you know, Lubin said something too at the same time. I, that was in the beginning of the fight. But in the middle of the fight and at the end of the fight, and Erickson Lubin said, you know what? This dude is using this trying to get me off my game and let me get back on uh, to um, concentrate on doing what I do best is box instead of, you know, brawling or get him out of his game or psych him, you know, psych him out. You know, it's a psychological game too on top of that instead of um, – you know, uh, uh, instead of you know uh, fighting and 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 not try to um, you know not try to brawl with the dude with the same time, which he probably want him to do so he can catch him. You know, uh, so you know they think they think Gallimore did what he had to do, but he didn't do you know he didn't do. More. I think this fight was. I give Gallimore probably maybe one or two rounds at the most at the same time, but it was a lopsided fight. Uh, you know, um, a one sided fight. You know, and uh, Erickson Lubin, he was, you know, one thing is, you know, he was, he was calm. He was, you know, he was calm. He, he, he instead of, instead of forcing the fight, he let the fight come to him. When he got, uh, you know, uh, Nathaniel Hurt, Gallimore Hurt, he was trying to, you know, he, he still was calm, but he was trying to even see, can I, can I knock him out? But if he, if he didn't get the knockout, he laid back a little bit at the same thing still, you know. He's a value puncher too on top of that, uh Erickson Lubin. You know. Uh Nathan Gallibor, you know, saying he was I mean, I mean, he was trying to go for the knockout. Uh you know, he was trying to go for he tried to get that one hit. And so he could, you know, saying try to end the fight. But sometimes, like I say, me, um, you know, um when they when some people was, was talking about that, I said, Yeah, Eric Er Lubin, this might be a good this is gonna be a um you know, one thing, an interesting uh, match, but, I, I, you know, this is see where uh, Erickson Lubin's head is at. And he, I think his head is in the right place, man. You know what I'm saying? He's had his chin up. He had his guard up. You know, he was hitting Gollumore in the right places at the right time. You know what I'm saying? And he had Gollumore hurt. He had him hurt a couple of times. I think he had him hurt in a couple. At the end, it was like in the, um, uh, at the end of the rounds. Like, at the end, like, I think it was like in, like, I think it was the probably the 11th and the 12th. I think it was the the tenth or eleven or twelfth round when he had uh uh Nathan Gallimore hurt, you know what I'm saying? And um Gallimore hurt was you know, Gallimore was still torturing him, you know what I'm saying, uh, saying some things, but Lubin wasn't going for it, you know what I'm saying? So when I when I realized that in the beginning of the round, in the in the I think it was I think it was the first round, the second round, if I'm not mistaken, right? When uh Nathan Gallimore was uh saying some stuff after the bell was wrong. That's why I say, yeah, this dude is gonna lose. Cause when you do that, that's when you try to have. Sometimes you could. It's always. It's, it could take one punch to end things, to change things around, right? But at the same time, man, uh, you know, uh, when I knew when when Erickson Lewis Chase said something, I said, yeah, this might be. This might be. I don't know. But when he stopped saying stuff to him at the end of the round, just concentrate on him. Then I said, yeah, this boy is gonna win. That's when I realized it too. On top of that, not you know, said, but I knew and he was outboxing him too in the ring too at the same time. He was doing a good job doing both, but at the same time, ain't no ain't no use to veterans don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I think some veterans do that. They, they know what they're doing. So at the same time, uh, uh, Lubin, um, he been in there with uh, a lot. He been in there with some fighters, and you know, he know and he, he, he he's. He's very he's concentrated on himself because he had people came before him and he looked at what they did and, and what they did right and what they did wrong. You know what I'm saying? I know he got one loss against Jamel Charlo or Jamel Jamel Charlo, but I know he I think he wants the rematch too at the same time because the reason why he didn't get that rematch uh as quick as possible because he got knocked out in the first round. It was no it was no ends ends of bust about it. Ain't no rematch. You gotta start from point B to A. You know what I'm saying? I mean point A to B I'm talking about, I'm sorry. A point A to B, uh, Eric, Eric, Erickson Lubin. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know if he's gonna get the. I don't know if he's gonna he's gonna get the rematch with uh, Jamel Charlo because Jamel Charlo trying to get his his belt back from uh, Tony Harrison. And uh, would, would I would I love to see that fight again? I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
Some people say Eric Eric Shalhoub was uh, green. He was too. He, he was young, but at the same time, man, he thought he was ready. So that was on him. You know what I'm saying? So now he might have another opportunity to get back at Jamel Charlo and, and see what. I think I think if, if it's a rematch, if he if he fight him again, it's gonna go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go beyond 12, one round. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's going to go 12, I don't know. That's something that Eric Slubin and Jamel Cholo, um, you know, when they do get in the ring, we'll definitely find out. But I'm not going to say if it's going to go 12 rounds. But it's going to be, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go past one round. I know that. You know, so. But this fight was, um, I don't think nobody was surprised in this fight. Um, I think it was a good step-up fight for um, Eric Slubin. Nathaniel Gullimore, which I don't know too much about, um, I don't know what to say about him, uh, as in him torturing, um, you know, torturing, torturing, um, uh, Eric Lubin, uh, and like, I think it was shoot, after the bell was ringing at the same time and, you know, but that didn't do nothing that, that made Eric Lubin focus, focus on himself more and focus on his craft, his skills more. So it can, it can. It could be a it could be a, a positive or negative, you know. Saying so it depends on the, uh, the 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 fighter. That's a psychological uh, state of mind, and and you know how they get down, you know. What I'm saying so, at the same time, man, uh, what you think would it, should be the next fight for Erickson Erickson Lubin? Who you think he should be fighting? You know, what I'm saying at a uh, super middleweight. I mean, the uh, middleweight division. Uh, so. So at the same time, man, leave a comment at the bottom of my page, subscribe to my page, like my page, hit the, hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. All right, bye.